Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we will learn about object oriented programming in Groovy and we will start with classes and objects. So classes and objects form the basis of object oriented programming and what is a class? So a class is a collection of data and methods that is used to represent a real world object and do not worry if you do not get this in a moment I will give you a very simple example to explain what is a class and how do we create objects for the class and the entire object oriented programming revolves around classes and objects so let me show you a very simple practical example to understand classes and objects I will go to my project in Eclipse and in my package I am going to do a right click go to new and I will go to others and search for groovy and create a groovy class if you get an option to create a groovy class you can select that I am getting groovy type so I will go here and say next and here I will say class and let us say I want to create a class for fruits so I will say fruits here you can give it any name and then I will say next and let us say I also want to create a main method and I will say finish and here you can see I have my class fruits and I also have my main method here so here inside the class now I'm going to create uh, some attributes for fruits and I can create some methods as well so for example I can say some attributes of a fruit can be color and even before that it can have a name so I will say name and I can make all these attributes or all these data as private to this class so that it cannot be accessed directly and can only be accessed through an object so I will tell you all these things so as of now I have just created name and color and now I can create some method so I can say uh, set fruit name and here in this method I am taking an argument or a parameter called name and let me name this one as fruit name and fruit color and in this method and we have also learned about methods separately in one of the earlier sessions so this here I have just created a method called set fruit name I am taking a parameter name and then I am saying this fruit name which is a class field or a class variable should be equals to this so I am actually setting the value for fruit name in this method similarly I can create a method for set fruit color and here I am taking a parameter color and here I will set this fruit color equals to whatever is the value coming as in the parameter of this function and then I will say get fruit name and here I can just return or just print the name so I will say name of the fruit is and I will say dollar and the variable name which is this fruit name and here I will again have another function I will say get fruit color and I will say I will print color of the fruit is and I will use this variable fruit color and that's it so you can see this is a very simple class let me show you in a full view this is a very simple class and here this is a class for fruits which has some attributes of the fruits and some functions and this represents uh, any of the fruits and we can create multiple fruits from this class so class is kind of a blueprint for the object and using this blueprint you can create multiple objects so for now to create objects from this class or using this class I can just say 
and the syntax will be here to create objects the syntax will be I will give the class name which is fruit and you can actually call this object or create this object from other classes as well as of now I am using the main method of the same class but you can do it from a different class as well so I'm saying fruit and you can give the name of the fruit so I can say fruit one or I can just say this is apple and the name of the class is fruits apple equals to new so we use new and again the class name fruits and these brackets so this is how you instantiate a class or create an instance of the class or in very simple words we can say create object for the class so here now I have got this object now using this object instance I can access the data and the methods of the class so as soon as I will say apple dot you can see I am able to access the data fruit color fruit name and the methods get fruit color get fruit name set fruit color and set fruit name so the first thing I am going to do is I am going to set the fruit name and I am going to pass here as the parameter as apple so this will go to this function which is set fruit name and I am passing apple here so this variable which is a class variable fruit name will be set to apple and similarly I can say apple dot set fruit color and I will say red and now after this I can just get the details using the get functions I have created so I will say get fruit name and I will say apple dot get fruit color and that's it so this will get my fruit name and color and print as I have written in my functions so if I run this I will do a right click I will say run as I'm getting groovy console and Java application as the options I can also select groovy script so for that I will have to do a right click again and go to run as run configurations and here I will go inside groovy script and click on this new and yes my project and class is here and I will say run and let us see the output and you can see it is printing name of the fruit is apple and color of the fruit is red so this is how we use classes and objects and this is just the starting and this is a very simple class and very simple object we have created there are a lot of things we can do in objects object oriented programming and we will learn that in the coming sessions i hope this session was useful for you thank you for watching